guys, welcome to my channel, Christina Cakes It. I'm Christina, and today I'm showing you how to make a super simple rainbow cake. So these beautiful buttercream swirl star rosette cakes are really popular right now and I've seen them in a lot of different colors and I decided I wanted to create one for my channel using really just a rainbow theme. What I envision though is that you can use any different color combinations that you like for um, any different like event or holiday but this cake is going to be a really fun like color explosion. So what you guys can see is I have prepped a ton of buttercream frosting like I think I literally made like three or four batches and I dyed it all the different colors I was gonna need and I've already put it in my piping bags. So the piping tips are also all down below in the description and I'm gonna be sure to show you all the different piping tips as I'm creating my cake. So although I have prepped all my different single color piping bags, I do wanna have a rainbow colored rosette. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. So basically I'm just taking some saran wrap and I am going to make stripes of buttercream. So next I'm going to carefully roll my saran wrap over. And I'm gonna cut. And I'm going to twist this end here. And I am going to just cut off that, that end right there. So now I'm using an Ateco Tip 846 and I'm just going to slide in my little tube of frosting here. And I'm going to be ready to pipe those rainbow rosettes. So before I get started, I do want to let you guys know that I have a four layer eight inch cake here that has been in the fridge, so this cake is firm. You could do it with a three layer, but I just wanted some extra height to really show off the design. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by piping my bigger rosettes first, and I'm gonna start with my rainbow. So again, this was my Ateco 846. Next, I'm gonna pipe some more large rosettes, and this is a Wilton 2D. And if your piping tip gets clogged, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to wipe it off. And then on these pink rosettes, I'm gonna add a purple ruffle and I'm using my Wilton Tip 104 to do this and I'm using my narrow side, um, or sorry, my I'm using my wide side closest to the rosette and I'm just piping a little ruffle on the edge. And I'm gonna add a ruffle on this rosette as well, and I'm using, again, the Wilton Tip 104. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some yellow rosettes using a Wilton Tip 1M. It's like the most popular tip there is. And I'm gonna make these kind of small. And what we're trying to do here is get different um, like textures and colors going in this cake. And the good news is if there's one that looks a little bit messy or I don't like it, I'm just gonna scrape that off. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna start filling in all this um, open white space using just several different colors of um, star tips.
Alright, so my all buttercream swirl cake is complete and I love how the rainbow looks on this. It's super colorful and just a really fun cake and it's actually much easier than it looks. This whole episode took me less than an hour. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode and I hope you try this technique. If you did like this episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.